Hi, I'm Kenny Yates, and this is Nuggets of Truth. This Sunday, May 19th, 2024, is Pentecost Sunday. What's Pentecost Sunday, you ask? Well, let me explain. First of all, the word Pentecost simply means 50. Why 50? Because it is celebrated 50 days after what we refer to as Resurrection Sunday. Okay, one more question, please. How did we come up with that? Is it something that the Catholic Church put in place? False. It was established by God himself as one of the three Jewish feasts that every adult male was required to travel to Jerusalem to attend. Let me explain both its origin and its fulfillment. God instituted three must-attend feasts. The Feast of Unleavened Bread, Feast of Weeks, Feast of Booths, or the Feast of Ingathering. Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 16 says, Three times a year all your males shall appear before the Lord your God at the place that he will choose, at the Feast of Unleavened Bread, at the Feast of Weeks, and at the Feast of Booths. The very first feast of the year was the Feast of Passover and Unleavened Bread, which was celebrated in their first month of their year, the month of Abib, on the 14th day of that month. The feast was celebrated for seven days. On the first day of the week after Passover, they were to bring the first fruits of the barley harvest, which was also the day that Jesus rose from the dead. On that day, the day of first fruits, they were to begin counting and would count 50 days, which would bring them to the seventh first day of the week. In other words, it was seven Sundays. On this seventh Sunday, they celebrated the Feast of Weeks, also known as Pentecost. On this day, they would bring their first fruits of the wheat harvest. This was the institution of the feast by God through his servant Moses. For a deeper explanation of Passover and its fulfillment, see our Bible study, What is the Passover? Which is under our Nuggets of Truth category or playlist. Now, let us fast forward from the days of Moses to the days of Jesus' earthly ministry. Jesus was crucified on Passover and rose on the day of first fruits. Now, begin counting from that day, Resurrection Sunday, and count seven full weeks, like this. Leviticus chapter 23, verse 15 and 16. God says, You shall count seven full weeks from the day after the Sabbath, from the day that you brought the sheaf of the wave offering. You shall count 50 days to the day after the seventh Sabbath. Then you shall present a green offering of new green to the Lord. Now, here we are at the 50th day after Resurrection Sunday, known as Pentecost Sunday. Jesus has been resurrected for the now 50 days. He spent 40 of those days on the earth appearing to many people, including the 11 apostles, the two men on the road to Emmaus, the 500, and Mary Magdalene, and others. Now, the 120 has been up in the upper room waiting for the promise, as Jesus had instructed them to do at his ascension 10 days earlier. Turn with me, please, to Acts chapter 2, and we're going to read the first four verses. Starting in verse 1, it says, When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. And divided tongues as of fire appeared to them and rested on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. The giving of the Holy Spirit and the birth of the church was the fulfillment of the Feast of Pentecost, or the Feast of Weeks. Here is what Peter said in his very first sermon on the day of Pentecost. Acts chapter 2, verses 14 through 18. But Peter, standing with the eleven, lifted up his voice and addressed them. 
men of Judea and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and give ear to my words. For these people are not drunk, as you suppose, since it is only the third hour of the day. But this is what was uttered through the prophet Joel. And in the last days it shall be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even on my male servants and female servants, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. This was God's plan all along, to infill his people with his spirit. He had a day planned, which was fulfilled on the day of Pentecost, or the Feast of Weeks. So let me go ahead now and sum all of this up for you. Pentecost is the Greek for 50. It was called Pentecost because it was celebrated 50 days after the first day of the week after the Passover. The feast was originally instituted by God himself as the second of the three major festivals that every Jewish male had to travel to Jerusalem to celebrate. It was originally called the Feast of Weeks, which celebrated the wheat harvest. The Feast of Weeks found its fulfillment in Acts chapter 2, when the Holy Spirit came to earth to dwell permanently with mankind and in mankind, those who have been saved through the shedding of Jesus' blood when he was crucified on the cross. Acts chapter 2 says that he came like the sound of a mighty rushing wind and filled the entire house where they were, the 120. And divided tongues of fire rested on each one, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and they began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. The coming and the infilling of the promised Holy Spirit which birthed the church was the fulfillment of the Feast of Weeks, now known as Pentecost. If you liked this video, please hit the like button, share it, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. If you want to grow your relationship with God, and have a daily devotional sent directly to your phone or email, subscribe to our website, holdthehope.org, or join our Telegram channel, Hold the Hope. We also have a quiz channel that you can have some fun while testing your Bible knowledge skills with our Bible quiz. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kenny Yates, and this was Nuggets of Truth. Until next time, be blessed and stay blessed.